Welcome back, Lawn Care Community. This is my 100 hour review of the Hustler Super S. And um, this is actually new to the Australian market. So, um, you know, these are um, these have been around in the US for quite a while. Um, however, we have this unit here for testing in Australia as the Hustler distributor would like to introduce these now that stand-ons are becoming a little bit more popular. So we've had this for about six months. Um, we've done roughly 100 hours on it. We're actually using it um, at our retirement village predominantly. However, we have been using it at some other sites as well. So um, I'm gonna run over some of the um, some of the features and some of the points that it has, some things that we like, some things that we think um, might make things a little bit easier. So um, we'll just start at the rear here. And as you can see on the top panel, um, another great mower um, that has everything accessible on the panel without having your control levers um, and your steering options being over everything. So once again, key blades, you have an hour meter here, which is great. You have your throttle and your choke. So that's, um, all of that is great because it's accessible without having to reach in here and to look at anything like that. Over here, you have um, your, that's just your fill cap, but this is your, um, fuel gauge on top of the tank, which is excellent. So, you know, anytime you're operating, you can just simply look down at that. Um, just while we're here, the fuel tank on this thing is massive. Um, I believe it's, I, I should know this, but it, I'd say it's well over 20 liters capacity, or if not, it'd be 20, but it looks like more. So um, coming around to the pad, this is a bolstered pad. Um, I'm a little bit in two minds with this bolstered pad. Look, I, I understand the purpose of having a bolstered pad. It, it keeps you tucked into the machine. However, I do find um, on my other stand-on, I have a flat pad and I do find it a little bit more comfortable if you wanna move around a little bit more. This bolstered pad and this design really does keep you secluded to this area. I don't think it's, it's not a reason to not buy this machine, but it's just something to consider if you're a little bit of a bigger person. Um, so probably the same as the platform. Um, you know, there's certainly enough room here to operate. However, it is a fairly compact design and the whole machine is, is a fairly compact design. Um, you're not gonna have as much room for your feet on this as some other machines. However, I've not gotten onto a 48 yet. So being a 36, it's gonna have a small footprint regardless. Um, I'll see if I can get a shot of me on here. So this is where you would typically stand. And as you can see, um, I'm on the here for, I'm leaning back, so I'm holding on so I can get the shot. Um, so um, when you're up here, the controls, are very nice and smooth, really good controls on this thing. Um, so here we have the handbrake, which is actually engaged at the moment. Um, I've seen in some other reviews that people haven't really been happy with this handbrake as you know, because it, um, you know, comes across the operator. However, this is engaged, so you'll never be operating the mumble with the handbrake in this position. This is what it'll be like when it's disengaged um, during operation. Um, and the way that that works, very simple design. Essentially, when you engage that, this plate locks onto the tire. So um, we like that simplistic design in the sense that um, if you happen to try and take off while that's engaged, you're not gonna break anything electronically. Um, it's just simply a plate that locks onto the tire. So moving around now to the height adjuster and your height selection options. Super easy and simple. Um, you just have this pin here and you can simply just choose your height very easily. 
So typically um, in Australian conditions where anywhere around two inches and this is a pretty foolproof system once that lock once that's locked in place that's not going anywhere you're not gonna jump levels at, at any point in time um, the deck is nice and easy to lift um, it is it is a fairly light deck that was a bit squeaky probably needs a bit of grease um, we do have the advanced shoot system on this um, which is good, but I'll give you a quick look at the deck. So this is an excellent deck, guys. Like one of, I have been so impressed with the way that this mower cuts in all conditions. Um, I have no problems recommending this to anyone that has a lawn mowing business. So um, the airflow under here is excellent. It's not not baffled or anything in any in, in any way so it really throws and discharges nicely um you know this is a pretty small mower and you'll easily cut um you you, you just you can easily plow through long grass in this thing and also you can mow beautiful manicured lawns and because it's a fairly small deck um you get very little scalping like very little scalping um, it's running the Kawasaki FX 600 V engine. Um, we love the Kawasaki's with the, um, Donaldson style air filter, which is great. It's, um, I believe 19 horsepower, plenty of power for this machine. So, um, all of the running gear and components are excellent. Moving around to the front of the machine. So as you can see, um, let's try to get a shot here of the whole machine as a footprint. It's like a really compact design. Um, you can really save a lot of space on your trailer by running one of these. And then not only that, um, the way that the deck is shaped, you can really, really, really get yourself into some nice corners here. Um, this is a mount for our um, side bagger. It's a transport mount, so you don't need to pay any attention to this. Um, the exhaust is mounted here and, and this does get pretty hot, but it's good, it's out of the way. You don't need to put your hands anywhere near there. Um, it is running some little tires. Um, I mean, we, in, the, in any 36 option, I believe that this is, you know, pretty standard. Um, okay, so getting back around here. So we've noticed it's got these wheelie wheels back here which is excellent so that if you do scrub out or if you do think you're going to tip the machine they'll prevent that which is good um i believe these are also tie down points as well so um that's handy to have um the operator presence control is in the platform so when you're standing on this um that's when it's engaged if you are running the machine and you hop off this at any point without disengaging the blades, it will do it for you. So you can hop off this machine if you need to pick up rubbish or open up a gate. You can switch the blades off, put the handbrake on and hop off that platform and the machine will um, continue running. So that eliminates the presence control being in the handles, which is good. Some people think that the presence control, usually you have the spring handle here, um, can be a hindrance. I sort of, um, I'm pretty neutral on both ways. They have to put it somewhere. So um, it's sort of a non-factor for me. Um, so heading back up to the handles, this front bar here can actually be um, moved forward or back. So you can, we've got it all the way forward. So we're, we're able to run this machine at uh, full top speed. And um, we have found that even when you don't need to, you can still feather these controls quite easily. Or if you want to be hooking it around the sides or you've got something busy to do, you can push that further forward and you'll be at top speed. Okay, so that's our 100 hour review on the Hustler Super S 36 inch. Thank you.